Early voting in Virginia's presidential primary began today, but the snow meant some election offices were closed. Other polling places were nearly empty. But as Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey explains, bad weather might not be the only reason voters are not rushing to cast their Super Tuesday ballots. Whether you were in Stafford County or Arlington, this is what most early voting polling locations looked like today. By lunchtime in Stafford, only two votes had been cast. In Arlington, just 16. Voter number 17 came in while we were there, but didn't want to be interviewed. We're calling it a snow day for a combination of snow and slow. But registrars in both counties say it's probably more than the snowy conditions keeping voters at home. Anna Hash says some voters just aren't tuned in yet to the fact that early voting for a March 5th presidential primary is getting underway now. Everybody is shocked when they say, it's starting already? Yes, it's starting already. <laughs> but for those planning to cast GOP ballots, there's likely another factor. Take a look at the sample ballot. Two of the candidates listed, Chris Christie and Vivek Ramaswamy, recently suspended their campaigns. Voters might be waiting to see if more candidates drop out. So it's possible the voters might be waiting to see, especially waiting for New Hampshire, to see if anybody else might suspend a campaign to see who will still be running uh, before they cast their ballots here in Virginia. But a heads up for voters, these names will stay on the ballot through Super Tuesday, even after candidates drop out. However, once a candidate gives Virginia formal written notification that they've ended their campaign, the registrars will inform voters. If they go through all the motions and officially withdraw from the from the, the race, then we will put notifications in every voting booth and every polling location. Those notices also enclosed with mail-in ballots. And this is a dual primary, meaning there's also a Democratic Party ballot. Election workers will be asking voters which ballot they want to use to indicate their preferred presidential candidate. Reporting in Northern Virginia, I'm Julie Carey, News 4.